When you look into the abyss long enough, it starts calling your name. Narcissistic abuse is soul destroying. Some victims of narcissistic abuse are driven to the point that they have suicidal thoughts. And unfortunately, too many answer the call of the abyss due to narcissistic abuse, called psychological murder. In this video, we will look at how and why narcissists drive people to the edge, as well as some suggestions for either abyss is calling your name. Disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, nor do I give medical advice. The information in this video is for informational purposes alone and is from online medical sites, my own experience of standing on the edge, as well as my experience in losing a family member to the abyss. If you have suicidal thoughts or intentions or know of someone who does, please contact emergency services or a healthcare professional in your area. This video is not a substitute for professional help, but can give additional information you can present to a healthcare professional who may not be aware of narcissistic abuse. Why do people get suicidal thoughts? Suicidal thoughts can be due to many things. Often it is due to the person feeling hopeless and unable to change their situation. This is often due to financial problems, a divorce, a loss of a loved one or feeling overwhelmed with life. However, with narcissistic abuse, suicidal thoughts can also be due to feeling immense shame and guilt. Feeling as if you are a burden to society, useless, that everyone hates you, that you are broken and cannot be fixed and that the world will be better off without you. You can also feel like a massive failure and as if you cannot fix things, will never be good enough or make things right, which is often the case with a scapegoat child, especially an adult scapegoat child. All that the shame in failing is too great to tolerate, often when a golden child faces a massive failure or crisis, or someone who were taught that image and perfection is everything, fails massively in public. How do narcissists cause you to have suicidal thoughts? Narcissists systematically break down your sense of self through their abuse by using different tactics. Destroy your identity and personality. By getting angry, giving you the silent treatment, or playing the victim when you want to assert yourself or ask for something for yourself, they teach you that you have to comply with what they want, that you do not have a voice and that only their needs matter. By invalidating your emotions, such as claiming you have no right to be upset, them getting angry when you show emotions, or telling you how you should feel, they dictate your feelings and emotions for you. Destroy your sense of reality. By gaslighting you and telling you things did not happen that you know did, or by telling you things happened that you know did not happen, they over time make you question your reality. You no longer trust your mind, memories and doubt your choices. The narcissist becomes your source of information. Destroy your self-confidence and self-worth. By putting you down with degrading remarks or comments, calling you ugly names, invalidating your accomplishments, downplaying your concerns, constantly telling you that you are worthless and never being satisfied with what you do, they make you feel as if you never can do anything right and what you do has no value in the world. They will make you feel as if the best you can give is not even worth a word from them. Thus you become worthless and may feel as if you have no purpose in the world and bring no value to the world no matter how successful you are in life. Great shame and guilt in you. By blaming you for everything wrong in the relationship, family, as well as their behaviors and actions, they make you feel immense guilt. But because you cannot control their actions, you feel hopeless in correcting what you are made to believe are flaws you have. By telling you people think badly of you as a person and smearing your name to others, you may start to feel ashamed of who you are. As you will be made to believe you cannot change these people's opinions of you, you will feel hopeless in letting go of the shame you feel. Causing anxiety and fear. By threatening to harm you or actually harming you, they cause anxiety and fear in you. By being inconsistent, you never know when next they will explode. After some time living in such a state of fear and not seeing a way to escape, suicide may seem like the only option to make the pain go away. Telling you to take the leap. Some sadistic narcissist will outright suggest you commit suicide and would tell you how much better their life would be if you just died. They will go on and on and keep pushing you to take the leap. People who tell you or suggest to you that you must take your life or that theirs will be better when you are gone have immense hatred for you. They will often try to destroy your life in other ways as well. With a feeling of shame and guilt, together with feeling useless and having no purpose in life while also believing there's nothing you can do about it, you may see taking the leap as your only or best way out. Why is narcissistic victim suicide thoughts different? 
With many normal suicide feelings, the cause is often external, such as a financial difficulty, divorce, or a loss of a loved one. Other people often get your problem and can help you, but with narcissistic victim suicide, the suicide feelings are often due to emotions that cannot be pinpointed to one thing you can address. People who do not know about narcissistic abuse, especially mental and emotional abuse, often do not get why someone who seems to be living an okay or wonderful life would want to take their life. They may then think that the person is faking it, overreacting, or is ungrateful for what they have, especially if abuse is covert. The victim may be extremely successful and have lots of money, wonderful children, and a seemingly wonderful life for people on the outside, but the person may feel like an utter failure due to how the narcissist has gaslighted and manipulated them. The narcissist creates so many emergencies that your life is in chaos. Before you can address one issue and recover from it, something else happens. With normal suicide thoughts, you often have family and friends or a partner to turn to. But with narcissistic victim suicide, the narcissist, who may be a family member or your partner, is the cause of your problems. And they turn all your friends and family against you, leaving you nowhere to find help or sympathy. This makes you feel more lonely, helpless and hopeless. Abused victims also often struggle with complex post-traumatic stress disorder called CPTSD. This may cause you to be triggered and feel anxiety or fear without knowing why you feel that way and possibly not even what triggered you as many different things can trigger an emotion and different emotions can be triggered at the same time or one after another which can overwhelm you. Life may become a living hell for you, with constant emotional states being triggered. With a constant abuse, you may also experience passive suicide. Even if you are mostly functioning normally and may have happy moments, you may be deep down unhappy with yourself and your life. You don't actively make plans to commit suicide, but you just don't care what happens to you and may then partake in extreme risk taking. It could look like you have extreme confidence and are an adrenaline junkie where subconsciously you see no loss if your life would end. Why do narcissists push you to the edge? Narcissists are all about power and control. They need to feel in control of you as well as feel they are better than you. Thus, they devalue you to make themselves feel better. As they break you down to elevate themselves, they may unintentionally go too far. Some, however, actively want you to take your own life. For them, it is the ultimate proof of their power that they can get you to take such a drastic step. It will also give them an endless supply of narcissistic fuel if the people you leave behind are left in pain and feel guilty for not helping you. Some narcissists are sadistic and just want to see you gone for their pleasure, while others may be envious of you and what you have even if it's just your nice smile. As they cannot have what you have, they may want to remove you to remove the negative feelings of inadequacy they feel. Lastly, some may want you to take your life as they want to move on but don't want to go through the trouble of leaving you. And they can also claim to be the victim and get attention from others when you are gone. Or they may be afraid you will leave them or expose them and may want you to end your life instead of leaving or exposing them. Thus, there is often pressure on the victim to end their life before or during separation and divorce. What to do? First, seek emergency services or professional help if you feel suicidal. Then go to therapy with a professional who is knowledgeable in narcissistic abuse to heal the wounds you have. Surround yourself with people who care about you and do not invalidate your feelings and emotions. Accept the abuse was not your fault. No matter what you did, the abuser chose to abuse you. Let go of the guilt and shame of being abused. Forgive yourself if you feel you failed at the one relationship that mattered most or if you feel you failed to protect yourself or for feeling ashamed of being depressed. You did the best you could with the knowledge and experience you had at the time. Get angry at the narcissist. Don't let the narcissist win and get away with what they did. Don't let your story be forgotten. Even if getting revenge is living a wonderful life without them. Find a purpose in life worth living for. If you don't currently have one, make it your purpose to at least brighten up one person's life a week by getting them to smile or feel good. If you give people a smile, they will often smile back. Or if you can, help someone with a few groceries or help them in some other way. Helping others is often one of the most rewarding things we can do. And you never know, that smile you gave a person may just brighten up their day and cause them to let go of their plans to leap into the abyss. As you heal and become stronger, you may find something you feel is worth living for. Make plans to leave or go no contact with a narcissist, even if it takes years to prepare to leave. 
In the meantime, go Grey Rock. Think of how your life would be when you are healed and free. What would you do? What would it feel like to have your own place and support yourself? What would it feel like to know there's nothing wrong with you? What would it feel like to know you matter in the world and have value and purpose? Please don't end your life because you matter and your new life starts now. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share it so that more people can benefit from it. If not subscribed, please subscribe now by clicking the seductive red button. As a reward for subscribing, you will get more informative videos about narcissistic abuse. Please leave a comment as it helps to expand the information covered in the video which may be of benefit to others. Also check out my books on narcissism by following the links in the description. Thank you.